Hello again, all. Uh, it's Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. Uh, we track 450 individual softwood lumber and panel um, plywood and OSB prices every Friday and have been doing since 1952. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the supply side. In the past couple of videos that I did, I uh, discussed the U.S. housing market and Canadian, but really U.S. is um, much larger. Uh, home sales, house prices, and what that means for softwood lumber, and what uh, current softwood lumber sales mean for upcoming um, housing activity. So today I thought I'd talk about uh, sawmill production volumes. Uh, excellent source of data uh, on that is the Western Wood Products Association. They put out a newsletter called Lumber Track uh, once a month which uh, shows what the um, Canadian U.S. Uh, sawmill production volumes are, but also shows uh, extremely useful and interesting sawmill capacity utilization rates. Um, in Canada, the newer, larger sawmills, especially in British Columbia, uh, were built and are optimized to run at uh, what's called 95% capacity. Uh, haven't ever really gone up that high because uh, almost immediately after they were built in the early 2000s, uh, softwood lumber demand dropped and then the housing crash of 2006 really brought things um, a little bit to the screeching halt. And the duty didn't help much, the softwood lumber duty. Um, uh, this round, uh, softwood lumber dispute number five we're in, uh, duty was extremely high, uh, 20 to 25% for almost all operators. So let's have a look at the uh, data that the WWPA, the Western Wood Products Association, they're based in Portland, Oregon, see what they've done. Um, this data comes out on a lag of about three months, so I think the latest issue uh, was for October. But it gives you a pretty good idea of what happened in 2020 with the um, shutdowns and the uh, need to put in social distancing and all the safety, uh, health and safety for workers um, in the beginning of, uh, in the spring of 2020 and then how that worked out toward the end of the year. It is normal historically for there to be more, uh, a little bit more lumber production in the U.S. than there is in Canada, but we saw quite a big drop over the past year or so. Mostly I would hold the softwood lumber duty responsible for that, a 20 to 25% uh, impact on the border is quite high. But here really is the most important metric of uh, sawmill capacity utilization rates. As I was saying for Canada is optimized to be above 90% and you can see the impact of the uh, health and safety guidelines due to COVID over there in April really hit Canada quite hard, not so much in the U.S. And so really quick, uh, Western Spruce 2x4s uh, produced in British Columbia, Washington State, Oregon, Alberta, somewhat in Idaho, really hit a high, the blue line in 2020 and uh, started 2021 up high, the black line. And we'll see over February and the rest of this year where that goes. All right. And so you can really see that there's a lot of up and down. Uh, things look a little bit better in the U.S. with... Um, the lumber production relatively stable, the sawmill capacity utilization, which you know, admittedly in the U.S. Uh, is not uh, optimized for as high as it is in Canada. So, in the U.S., uh, approximately 85% uh, capacity utilization rates is uh, the best. Uh, there's a lot of older mills, a lot of smaller mills, a lot of specialty mills that just serve their local community. But the Canadian sawmills are uh, larger, their uh, uh, volume uh, production is uh, heavily uh, toward the 2x4 or dimension lumber, uh, and they are larger, uh, more remote areas, you know, deep in the forest in BC um, specifically. And so uh, in Canada, the uh, optimal utilization rate is uh, 90 to 95 percent. And as you can see, we're nowhere near that uh, toward the end of 2020. We'll see what happens uh, going forward. Uh, like I said, that data, there's about a three-month lag. And um, right now, we're uh, at the very first week of February 2021. Um, 
the administrative review of the solvent lumber duty in the U.S. was done in March. It, it comes up once a year. Every time there's a duty, the um, administrative review is done once a year. The uh, government agency found that the duty was too high and uh, was meant to be reduced in June of 2020 from 20 to 25 percent to approximately 5 percent for almost all operators except Resolute Forest products. Uh, then it was delayed to August, and then finally that reduction took effect in November. So in the next couple of months, we'll see if uh, that reduced duty had an effect on bringing the sawmill capacity utilization rates and the production volumes higher in Canada uh, to find a customer in the U.S. Uh, in the meantime, to see what's happening with the lumber market every week, you don't have to wait uh, two or three months. Uh, check with us often. Um, I just put a small snapshot of uh, the six benchmark lumber and uh, one panel uh, plywood prices on the website every week, but subscribers can see all 450 items along with the market commentary every Friday morning when we update uh, for the subscribers.